Okay, so you chose the mural uh, on La Placita. Yeah, yeah. To me, it's uh, it's an interesting marker of location being... Uh, I, th I think the title of the piece, if there's a title of it, it's called First Foods. So there's a woman feeding on it, and it's a tiny Mexican market. Like, when I say tiny, like, I don't know how to do square feet, but it's, like, very small, and they do, like, takeout food. Um, so it's, like, an interesting, like, cultural marker uh, that makes the place even more visible. And then... Uh, across the street there used to be a larger kind of mural back in the day like one of the few murals that existed in Battle Creek and then whatever business it was got taken over by somebody who opened up a liquor store and they just painted over it like this in brown this really awful brown depressing color yeah so uh, Nani Chacon's uh, piece First Foods then kind of you know gave some more life to that uh, that part of town too. I, I think that might be the only mural in that side in that area now. It's it's the furthest north, and that's one of the other reasons why it stuck out to me because that's where uh, the closest mural to where I grew up. So yeah. um, the other ones aren't too far away, but that would be. I, I consider that to still be the neighborhood where I grew up, pretty much. And the one across the street was like. I don't remember if it was a convenience store or whatever, but it had the Forever Golden, it said on one wall, and then it had like bonus saves, had the little uh, rabbits or whatever. There was just interesting, colorful creatures and yeah. like uh, cool, uh, not maybe calligraphy, I can't remember exactly, but there's cool lettering. Um, and yeah, like at that time, that was one of the, maybe the only kind of mural or graffiti that stood out to me um, and then it just got painted over that area in particular the north side does have um, more murals now but that area in particular could use a lot more that's the only one that I can think of on La Placita that's the only I can't think of any more now so that area could definitely there are walls there yeah I could use some more uh, there's a chicken coop that's been abandoned for about <laughs> three decades uh, there's a lot of walls that you know, could use more, more murals on that specific strip on yeah. Capitol Ave in particular. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of buildings, whether they're occupied or not. Yeah. Yeah, that, so that chicken coop has been there forever. I don't think it's been on operation. That barbecue place has been going strong. Pizza King and chicken Up and coop. Smoke. Is that what it is, Up, Up and, and Smoke? Up and Smoke is it was pretty good, yeah. pretty good food. That's why the, uh, the building that the mural is on, La Placita, is, is cool because they, they also started doing takeout. Yeah. <laughs> they moved a couple, even though it's tiny, they just have like a few, like literally a few aisles. They moved a couple of... Uh, what look like secondhand booths in there they can go sit down and, and order they're super nice yeah. um and the food's really good and when we went to talk to them uh to ask them about the mural they were immediately just really cool about it and yeah. uh excited about it that's probably um that's a good pairing then like you're saying the top the topic of the mural and the place that it's on so if you could find other pairings like that in that in that area you could start a domino effect yeah yeah in that area or i'm also thinking of other uh it'd be cool to get other mexican restaurants involved too like where nina's is mm. the downtown location like as you're driving downtown it would be so cool to have one right there like kind of across from horrocks because they do have some stuff like out on the patio but it's not easily visible from that road but horrocks is another one that probably could yeah use a, a mural yeah because they have that giant wall yeah so that would be sweet although there might is there one on the back side of it if you go up capital i don't think so syntax is up further yeah it's up a little further but yeah could the either side could definitely use something there's the spaces there for sure yeah 
it's interesting to think about putting murals on buildings of places that are food places like that like you could like there's a it doesn't have to be thematically connected but it could be yeah uh especially those kinds of places there's uh it just adds another sort of element to uh the whole vibe i mean sometimes it's from i, I don't know exactly what the uh, for example the the mural on the side of one of the san francisco restaurants uh, what it's supposed to depict, but I imagine maybe it's of uh, w where they come from, um, specifically in Mexico. Right. Um, but either way, it kind of adds to that, to the story of the place. Oh, 